before the video starts, I'd just like to clarify that I do not support gambling in any way. I think it's a little quirky and a little goofy to put your money on the line on a purposely rigged system. With that out of the way, let me tell you how to do it best. So for the past couple days, I've made a spreadsheet with all of the boxes and all the items in each box and their current price on the market as of the 15th of June. I use this data to determine four statistics. The average value of every item in the box combined, the average profit from each box, which is the average value minus the box's price, the highest value item in each box, and the percentage chance to profit from each box. The percentage chance to profit is calculated based on how many items in each box surpass the box price, plus the chance of getting a mythical. For example, the level one box has 16 items and only one of them surpasses the box's price. Since every item in the elver box has an equal chance of being obtained, the chance of getting that item is 6.25%. Then we just add the 3% guaranteed profit of a mythical, and then we get 9.25% chance to profit whenever opening an elver one box. Using this data, I have come to the conclusion on which boxes are lit to open and which boxes are shit to open. There will be some conditions and exceptions that I'll have to discuss before I inform you about the big info. One of the conditions that is important is the difference between average profit and chance to profit. For instance, the best overall box for straight unaffected profit is the April 2017 workshop crate number two, with an average profit of minus 14 cents. So you lose 14 cents on average each box. For comparison, the other one box is an average profit of minus 57 cents. Wow, witness! That must mean the items in this box are really good, doesn't it? That surely since the average value per box is 88 cents, that means it must be really easy to profit from, right? Wrong, actually, you ginormous idiot. If we look at the items in the box, we can see that there are only two items that surpass the box's price. The Elemental Zubeknikov at $7.66 and the Tigris Eaglefire at $1.63. If we do some funky math, we can even calculate that the Zubeknikov is an outlier in comparison to the rest of the box due to its price. With this in mind, if we look at the percentage chance to profit, it is less than 6.66% chance, which means that it's crap, but also that despite the box's average profit being the highest, it is also one of the hardest to make actual profit from. Mythicals are an important talking point as well. As for the most part, whenever you open a box, what you're going to want to get is the big shiny red star. Now, we can all agree that different mythicals are valued differently, because some are cooler and some are like wet farts. But there is also the case that certain cosmetic items are better with mythicals than others. Let's look at the April 2017 workshop crate again. Notice how I said that the chance for profit is less than 6.66% chance. Why would it be less than that? This is because sometimes getting a mythical will actually devalue the item itself, or make it impossible to sell. Why, you may ask? Because no one wants to purchase the musical Lava Lamp Baseball Bat. They would rather just purchase the actual skin itself without the ugly mismatched particle effect attached to it. Gun skins are notorious for losing value with mythical effects, but some are so extremely valuable because of the mythical effect that is attached to it. For example, the extremely rare and extremely valuable energized hypertech maple strike is valued so high because of its rarity, but also because the mythical matches the skin itself. For these reasons, all gun skin boxes have chance to profits that are less than the value I've stated. Mythicals are also kind of quirky because the older boxes do not have access to some of the cooler new effects. An extreme example is the Easter Island box, which is the only box to have the high tide and bonanza effects, which while ugly, the bonanza effect makes the Chinese traders go crazy mode. I don't know what it is about bananas, but Chinese traders really want these ugly ass cosmetics with the funny bananas. Probably due to the fact that nobody opens this box, newer mythicals are important to consider because the rule of thumb is that generally the newer stuff is going to be more expensive as it looks cooler and is on a cooler looking item. For this reason, if you want expensive mythical pulls, I just recommend opening the newest box that is currently available, or the boxes post Dango. Part of this condition though is that I don't use mythical prices in my calculations. Why? Because mythicals are so volatile, they're like NFTs, they're like little monkeys, and they're very fucking bad to purchase because their prices go whoa whoa whoa. So let's summarize what I just said. A high average profit does not necessarily mean the box has a high chance to profit. Gunskins with mythicals generally lose value and thus gunskin boxes are harder to profit from. Newer boxes have better mythical effects, and thus getting a mythical in the newer box may be better than getting one in an older box. With all this in mind, let's throw up some of my results and what I think are the best boxes currently to open, and which are some wildcard boxes that might be worth opening if you're a little mentally insane and are in a white padded room. I won't be ranking the boxes, as while there are definitely objectively better ones and worse ones as well, it would be difficult to put all of them on a scale, as there are so many variables and conditions that make certain boxes marginally better in different aspects, so with that out the way, let's talk about the standouts. The worst ones, do not open these on jaw. 
the anniversary gift bag, the festive gift present, the grocery bag, and the red mystery box are all unprofitable, unless you get a mythical, and even then, you may not be able to profit from it, depending on the effect and on what item. The grocery bag is especially bad, as it is only for canned beans, and what makes it even worse is that it is a $3.56 buy-in, so on average you will lose $3.33 opening one of these. On the unlikely chance you pull an energized Hypertech canned beans, you might not even be able to sell it, because who in their right mind would want to buy a canned bean skin? The wildest wild cards. Now there are wild boxes to open, pretty much all the workshop crates except the September one, which is so painfully average it makes my cock and nuts seem huge, have at least one skin that makes opening them maybe worth it. Getting a good mythical effect on this skin in particular makes them very expensive. But there are three boxes that only madmen should be opening because of how unlikely the profit is. The three I am referring to are the purple mystery box, the Russia map mystery box, and the wildest of them all, the chrome plated mystery box. But witness, why are these boxes so utterly crazy kooky to open? Well, they all have hypertech skins in them, and as I mentioned at 3 minutes and 3 seconds, the energized hypertech maple strike is ridiculously expensive, so getting any of these skins with energize is like God's gift to you. The chrome plated is especially wild, because you have to shell out $4 per attempt at getting the skin, and the maple strike itself is the only skin that you can make profit off of in the box. It's also about a 75 in a million chance to get the energized hypertech maple strike, so good luck. The best of the best, no cap on my mama. In my opinion, the top 5 boxes you should be opening are Arid, Hawaii, Easter Island, the Blue Mystery Box, and Elver 1. Arid is currently the newest box and thus has the newest effects. It may have a low profit ratio because it has some stinker cosmetics, but getting new effects on some of the more edgy cosmetics will land you a pretty penny. Easter Island is essentially a wild card. You're fully betting on getting very specific cosmetics in this box, and you're really hoping to get Bonanza. This box is the definition of feast or famine, but with a 16% chance to profit, it's not the worst choice, but expect to lose big or to win decently. Elver 1 has some sick cosmetics, but it also has some serious fart, pooper, lick my poopy, stinky fart, toilet flushy sounds. It has 4th generation effects and 40% chance to profit, it really isn't that bad. The blue mystery box is a classic and has pretty high profit chance at 16%. The only issue is you're looking for two cosmetics specifically, but getting a mythical of any of the cosmetics in this box except the headdress and the... Uh, the... Uh, the Viking helmet... Uh, is generally going to be good unless you get a shitty ass poo poo effect like musical. The Hawaii box Let's Go Baby. For some odd, scary, SCP-like reason. The Hawaii box has the highest profit chance at 19.78%. The grass skirt is priced obscenely high because of tryhards, and the rose tinted glasses are just cool. The lava flow skins are also pretty high priced, specifically the Heartbreaker and PDW, which are both above $2. That being said, I don't think mythical variants of these skins, aside from the headgear, are really going to be worth anything. Well, thank you guys for supporting and watching this dumb mathematical video that took me way too long to make and probably won't do well. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you don't want to go spend your money on these boxes that I just told you to open. If you'd like to support more dumb videos like this, please consider subscribing and following me on Twitter if you want to see funny messages I post online. I also have a Discord server and you should join it and I say things and maybe you can be there too and say funny things. Hello. Once again, thank you and have a nice day.